Hello again, I'm Tate and I'm back with another video on houses in MLS Sync. In this segment, we'll create a property search page and custom search bar. Here's the site we created in the last video. Here's the splash video page we created. If we click on properties, we will see that this page is now blank. We'll build it up together. Let's start by going to our WordPress dashboard and now the pages menu. We want to edit our properties page and set the template as search results. Click Save. You can choose a different template here if you want. Now we can go to Theme Options and we will click on Search Results page. Here we have some options to format our page. I like to use Half Map with Grid View, but you can try out some others. Here we can set the default order of listings and how many we want to show at a time. Now let's go to Map Settings. Here we have some more options for the Properties Map. For now, I have set it up with OpenStreetMap but you can change this to Google Map with a Google Maps API key. You can choose a marker type. Under the cluster submenu, you can enable clusters so that groups of listing pins are merged together on a certain zoom level. Now let's save. If we refresh the properties page, we will see things coming together. Here are the demo listings we downloaded through MLS Sync, and here they are plotted on the map. That was not too difficult, now we'll customize the search bar. There are actually three separate search bars on our site, and we'll edit them one by one. First, let's take a look at the splash page search bar. This is what Houses calls a banner search. We can make edits to it by going to Theme Options, Searches, Banner Search. To give you an example, I will change the dropdown from Cities to Listing Type. I'll enable Tabs and add two tabs. Let's see how that looks. That looks good. Now let's work on the properties page. This type of search is called a half map search. So we'll click on half map search options. In this first section, you can choose a template. Here you can choose the number of search fields you want to appear in the first row. And here you can choose which fields you want to display. What's not in the first row will appear in the advanced menu. Let's refresh and take a look. Here are the first three fields, and here are the rest. The last search type will be for all other pages on your site, and it's called the header search. I will set this up to have the same format as our properties page search. I'll choose this template and make it full width. I'll choose the position under navigation. Since our home page is a splash page, I'll show this only on inner pages. Now I'll use the same number of fields and then enable the same field types. Now let's refresh a different page to see how it looks. Here it is and it looks just like our properties page. In just minutes we set up a property search. It can be just as quick for your site. Give Houses and MLS Sync a try today.